Hello summoners and welcome back to League Inspections. Today we're having a look at Jungle Olaf, the Berserker. He is a Viking. That's what he does. He does Viking things. He does storm things, he throws axes, he just generally does Viking things. Uh, he does not however eat cheese or play around with the longship, so... But he does go on raids. And in fact Jungle Olaf is all about raiding. So as always, League Inspections is looking at the inspection that I've done and, well, at the game that I've had and just commenting on things that I've made mistakes on. So it starts off, every jungle game starts off the same as every other. You take your wolves, you take your blue, you take your reds, you take your red, you take your golems. Maybe you'll take your golems before your red, depending on how you go. Today, we're taking golems first. Now I like the axe throw over the wall as we're approaching it, so we get the damage done, but we save a little bit of time when they come approach us. However, that does mean that you don't quite get your axes back. Collecting the axes is very important as Olaf as well, because collecting your axes means you get your cooldown back faster. So when jungling, you've got to be careful about where you're throwing your axes exactly. But, you know, that's sort of a minor thing, that's just an Olaf thing. And we go back to buy after getting a bit of CS. Now meanwhile, of course, uh, let's switch this to only to show blue. So right now, let's have a look. We've got the first clear. And what are we looking at bot? Bot, they're pretty pushed. Bot, we're not doing anything there. Mid, hmm, they're against Evelyn. Mid might be a good choice to go to. And top is already being ganked right now. And they're going to be pushed out very soon. So not too worried about top right now. So, but we are going to try and deal with Evelyn, because Evelyn... I don't like Evelyn. So we wait, we bide our time. Is she still there? Who knows? It's Evelyn. You never really know with Evelyn. And so you just go back and farm. I was thinking about going to bot, but yeah, there's nothing going on there. Evelyn appears again, but I like to finish off Wraiths. Should I have been there a bit sooner? Maybe. Maybe a bit sooner would have helped against Evelyn. But I pick up axes. That's great. Having my axes is always good. And so we're going to go see what we can do on top lane. But there's nothing happening in top lane. Top lane is pretty boring. So we do the right dangerous trick of going through their own jungle. But we see Evelyn. She's low. Yes. And she's trying to be back. Now here is our first lesson for the day. Step one. If trying to hit Evelyn, make sure you actually hit Evelyn. Step two. At level 4, probably a tower dive is a bad idea. A very bad idea, in fact. And I don't remember what step we're up to. Probably try not to give first blood. But you know what? That happens. So, what could we have done better there? Well, not tower dived Evelyn would probably be the big hint. Especially not at such a low level. Which, of course, every death puts you behind... So you just gotta catch up in the jungle, get ganks, but I'm really wasting my time on Teemo because there's not much I can do. Not really a lot I can do against Teemo right now. I'm very bad with that axe range, that's something I definitely need to work on. That's fine. And Teemo is pretty much fine. But we know Jax is there, so I don't want to go away just yet. But then I decide to go away. Uh, should I have stayed there? No, I'm going to agree with that decision to go back and farm. And I'm currently a bit, bit behind, but I'm actually in communications with uh, Ari. You may notice it's Dagu. I play a lot with Dagu. He is a fine fellow who I like to feed, you know? I like to feed him, but not... I like to help him get his kills. Not meaning that I actually run and get myself killed by him. That That's the bad kind of feeding. No one likes that kind of feeding. So we're back to the jungle. Uh, with Olaf, I think because he doesn't really have a lot of stuns or anything like that. I mean, he's got a slow with his axes. <laughs> Always be aware if you can take red. He's got a slow with his axes, which makes for a really good gank if it actually connects. If it doesn't connect... It's really kind of a terrible gank. And knowing that all I can do is slow Evelyn to the best, given the fact that Evelyn runs fast, I'm not sure Evelyn's actually the best target for a gank. 
but who I think is a good gank is down here, because a fed vein is a strong vein, but there's no one there. So, we're going to go for Evelyn again. Because this worked well last time, guys, and I can't see how it would fail us again. No. But I do want to still go for mid. See, mid is the only one you can really gank successfully. And so we're fighting Jax. We're really in the middle of it all. I've gone way too far ahead. Th that was dangerous. There Could I have gotten that kill? Let let's look at that again for a second. At one time speed. Okay, so Jax is somewhat low. Evelyn's at 400 health, but I'm at 100. No. That... I think I definitely went in too far there. But... No, no. Focus. I definitely went in too far there trying to get that one kill. Uh, I was lucky the fact that they decided to start backing off. If they didn't, that would have been another death, so... Oh, wow! Let's look at that again. Alright, so, what happened? Let's go back a little bit more, because we don't know where Evelyn was. So, let's see, Evelyn was last seen around here. And then we don't see her anymore. No Evelyn seen... Don't know where she is. There's the cloud. And then an epic chase begins, but... I don't know if I really could have done that any better. Just because Evelyn can really be anywhere. But maybe that's something you got to be aware of. With Evelyn around, you don't know where she's going to be. You don't want to take the unnecessary risks of going for uh, anything near the mid lane if you think she could have was last seen around that area. So Evelyn's got now three kills, and I got two deaths. But that's okay. You're worth less gold each time you die, so it's fine. And another gank that didn't go so well. And there's Evelyn again! So the reason I picked up this replay was actually because I do so badly against Evelyn. Um, Evelyn, as you can see, is totally kicking my ass. I'm actually on Skype at this point to Dagoo, saying, Okay, I'm afraid of Evelyn. I'm quite afraid of Evelyn. Where he's been cool and calm and that sassy Australian self that he is, saying, Don't worry about it, we've got this. And do we have this? Evelyn's got it. But now I want to show you something about Evelyn. Uh, you probably already noticed this, but let's look at the kills for a second. So you've got Ari, the goo, at three kills, and Evelyn with six. Four of those are on me. So I'm worth less and less gold. So yeah, it sucks that I'm dying, but... At least I'm not giving them as much gold as they could be getting. I mean, Ari versus Evelyn, there's like 600 gold difference, but that could also be a bit of farm in there. I mean, it's, it's not as bad as it could be. So, the theory at the moment is really help Ari out as much as I can, and get Dragon. But in the grand scale of things, because I'm beginning to think that I'm rather weak, and you've got to be aware of this as well, because my main opponent, I mean, okay, my direct opponent, perhaps is a better way of putting it, is Jax. And I'm ahead of Jax. True, I did get Dragon, and I have had an assist, but being ahead of Jax does mean, of course, that my direct opponent, my jungle counterpart, is not doing as well as myself. And... Frankly, this is a good situation. Jax is very strong, of course, and Jax's ganks are perhaps better than Olaf's. I think Olaf does better damage overall, but... Alright, trying to go for a gank, but I'm being pinged, told to go away. So, I go away anyway, just because they don't want me. Sad Olaf wanders us into the jungle again. Nothing really to gain here, just farming jungle. And protecting mid lane, but of course Evelyn is the one I'm most afraid of. Now, should I engage Evelyn? This is a question that you've really got to ask yourself. Is Evelyn worth engaging at this point? Probably not. I mean, she will kill me fairly quickly, so maybe get some more magic resist in my build. I mean, I'm running boots, null magic mantle, wriggles. 
I mean, the old magic mantle is just for uh, boots to the Merc Treads, which, you know, are good boots. It's definitely what you'd need against this team, because they've got uh, Jax with a stun, you've got a uh, snare from Sona, you've got, you've got a whole bunch of CC, so Merc Treads are definitely the ones you want to go for. And then I like to go for Black Cleaver, because Black Cleaver is very strong at the moment. Unstoppable. So just farming bot pushing that out a bit, just allowing everyone to have a slightly easier time. And just go back to farming. As a jungler, farm is very important. It'll always be important. You'll always be sort of behind your AD carry, behind your AP mid. But given the fact that Dagoo is doing well, I still watching this am agreeing that Dagoo should have blue. Because Ari against Evelyn, Evelyn is doing much better than... Well, not much better, but... No! Okay, at the moment it's actually doing worse. But Evelyn is going to be very dangerous because she is able to do that sort of global roam. And we've got a team fight going on here. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. In fact, let's go back on that for a second and actually analyze that fight. So, the fight starts off, and I'm going to go to half speed. And I'm coming in, still on a mushroom, so I'm going to be slowed already. And I switch targets to Jax. I get stunned. Ari takes out Teemo, that's great. I'm happy with that. I was thinking maybe I should have gone for Teemo, but that would have actually been the incorrect choice. And with their top defense down, push that tower out. Oh, it's Evelyn. Evelyn, she's where everywhere I don't want her to be. So now I've got five deaths to my name and no kills. Thankfully, and I, I want to say this real quick, this game is actually really cool about this. No one rages at me, no one, you know, starts saying, hey, noob feeder Olaf, uninstall, or anything like that. So, any unhappiness is clearly of my own division, division? Is my own thoughts. And meanwhile, I've got Dagoo going, hey, don't worry about it, bro, things are fine, you're doing okay, you know, I'm fed, it's fine. And that is amazing, because morale is so important in this game. If you feel like you've given up, if you feel like you've lost, and you're not really able to do anything, and, oh, my team hates me, you're never going to play your best. So this is sort of an attitude reminder that, ooh, Ezra tries to steal Dragon. I'd like to say that was a good try by Israel. He had it was a complete blind attempt, but but anyway, attitude is everything. Like yeah, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing badly. I've done worse. We all have, I'm sure. But oh, and it's Ari. Uh, not Ari. Eve again, and Eve just kills me again. And now I'm at six deaths. And still, the team remains completely calm and relaxed. Now this just could be because no one's typing in a chat, but again, that's fine to be angry or, you know, mad or disappointed with your allies. Hell, we're all human. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I wish my Olaf was better. I wish my Karma didn't pick Karma. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's human to just wish situations were better. But not bring it into chat. That helps. And so you just do what you can. Um, it definitely against Evelyn. Put some pink wards down. Put them in random places. Put them in places where she's gonna... Eve is gonna walk through. Because if you find Evelyn, she is the only threat here. Because when I mean, you look at their team, uh, their team... The most anyone has aside from Evelyn is 5k gold. Not even 5k gold. Everyone on our team has more than that. Oh, sorry, there is Ezreal. So Ezreal's the next biggest threat, but Evelyn, if you take out Evelyn, the, the fight's won. It really is. And so Evelyn is your prime target. After you've taken down Evelyn, 
your entire team is doing better than her. Okay. What's going on here? Ari taking down first, could I have saved her? Not really. This fight you really just want to stay there, you want to hang on Evelyn if possible. That axe could have gone a bit further, but it's okay. The AD carry gets the kill. Part of the thing I've got to work with Olaf uh, is axes are great. They're just fantastic. They're the best. But I, because you get the recharge if you pick up your axe again, I seem to be throwing them too short. Because I want to pick up my axe and then throw the axe and then pick up the axe and throw the axe. I mean, we want to get some axe throwing going on. Quite frankly, I mean, if you don't hit the target with your axe, all you're doing is just... You might as well be juggling axes. You might as well just be Draven. And no one likes Draven, because Draven is the weakest champion in the game. And yeah, I'm saying this just to troll some of my friends. So, you know. But, yeah, don't ever be worried about using your skill in a way that, oh, if I use my skill this way, I won't get the recharge back as often. Like, with Annie, for instance. Don't think, oh, but if I don't, if I disintegrate this minion at the wrong time, I won't get my mana back. Yeah, but if you don't disintegrate that minion at all, you know, other things might happen. Oh, I want my mana back. I'm low mana. I need to disintegrate this champion when he's low. And so what? You don't disintegrate him and then you die. So, disintegrate. Use your mana. I mean, you need to deal your damage. I mean, yeah, situations change everywhere, but... Throw your axes. Throw them with reckless abandon. Hit that enemy champion in the face. Slow them down. Make the team get a kill in this case. That's some advice. You can take that to the bank and say, Sir, I have some advice for you. And the bank will say to you, Why did you bring advice to me? We're a bank. We're a financial institution. At which point you'll sort of look down your shoes and go, Sir, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going to leave. And then you'll be escorted out of the bank. And then everyone is happy. And Evelyn, all on her own. Now, this tip is more for Evelyn. I know League Inspections is my own play, but let's see what Evelyn saw. So Evelyn sees... She sees Ari. She also sees that uh, Timo's not far off, but Sona, also kind of far off. She doesn't see the rest of us. So she goes in for Ari. Then it's me, then it's our entire team. Now, she didn't have a clue where we were. So maybe she was just going for the easy Ari kill. Let's be honest, she did almost get it. But something that play, a lot of players get into their heads, and hey, I'm not excluded, I do it too, is when you're ahead, you just want to get more ahead. You just want the kills, you just want the gold, you just want to be the guy who's carried the game on their backs. The team loves you, everybody adores you, you're like the hero of Valorian. No team's has been destroyed. Yes. I was wondering about that name. And you start taking fights that you really don't know if they're safe or not. I mean, yeah, that, that could have been an easy Ari kill. It's not like Ari, uh, Evelyn hasn't caught me out like two or three times already while I'm just like, Hey guys, I'm just a berserker in the middle of nowhere. But overall, our team is doing well. Uh, Vi probably shouldn't have gone into that, but again, probably expected me to back her up. Let's look at that, actually. Let's assume I did back her up. So, there I am, just derping around, having a good time. There's two champions, I'm out. I don't want anything to do with this. We know Jax is coming in. So we've got three cha four champions, but we didn't see the fourth one until she already jumped in. Killed uh, Israel quickly. Should I have jumped in there? No, not with Evelyn around. Evelyn is a very big danger to me, so I am going to agree that I probably shouldn't have gone into that. Just because the extra damage of Olaf, it's probably better to have alive than dead. Maybe we could have gotten another kill, but it would have been another death. 
And at least we could, unless that death was resulting in the death of Evelyn, not worth it in my mind. See, it's 18 to 16, but, you know, three quarters of their kills are all on Evelyn. I mean, we're, half our kills are on our uh, Ari, but, you know, I'm a little bit happier with those numbers. Not really part of anything what I'm doing now. So, I've picked up another pink ward. Or, no, nope, two pink wards. So I'm thinking, well, pink wards. I'm afraid of Evelyn. And there's nothing wrong with being afraid of a champion. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, hey, a pink ward in the middle of the uh, lane. Is that stupid? Not if Evelyn gets behind you, it's not. But, I mean, we know where Evelyn is. There she is. We can see her. And when you can see Evelyn... She, she's like the monster in your closet. If you see the monster in your closet, you're not as afraid of it anymore. Because you actually realise it's not a monster, it's an alien. Stop being so racist. And we don't see Evelyn again, so I'm sort of... confused. But no, nope, Evelyn's been seen again, so... now I should probably go in? No, I'm just throwing out another pink ward, just in case she tries to sneak around behind me. I would like it if that was a pink ward, but that's okay. And... Timo blinds me and I think stuff this, I can't be bothered with this fight anymore. I'm just trying to get to my team in the safest way possible. Because I, I don't want to die at this point, it's just not worth my time. Alright, let's just pause for a sec. Because, actually no, we'll do this at the end. We're almost finished anyway. And everyone's just running from the death train. Oh, death trains. A coin I turned in the middle of nowhere and actually my friends have started picking it up. So, you know, death trains. They're dangerous. But once you've reached your stop, you can sort of, well, I can defend this. They're not really going to go anywhere. So me and Nunu hold the fort. Or in this case, the bottom tower. A quick thing about uh, Olaf that I didn't realise until I started playing him, so, you know, could be advice for someone. Where he throws his axe, he gets brief vision for a short time. So that helps. You know, having that vision is really good. Because, especially in threes where you don't have any wards or anything like that, you want to be able to see if, say, the entire enemy team is in a brush. Always check where the enemy team is. Always check brushes. The worst thing you can have in this game is to brush check with your face. Also known as face checking. And I don't know how viable this idea is, so I might want to read into it, but I always like to still go for jungle creeps in the middle of the game when we haven't got like a full team up. Like when we're sort of split pushing and there's nowhere to safely split push. Just go for jungle. In the late game, doesn't even matter if you're not the jungler, just take it. It's just gold waiting for you. And you love gold. I had to look at this bit so many times. Just the purple team just gets dragon and they just run up here. They just go doo -doo 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 -doo, and they just escape. Now, this is a bit that I'm still not sure we did this right, so I'm just gonna go back a little bit. I want to show you the situation. So we've got a pink warden here. In here we've got Jax and we've got Evelyn. Now I recognise this, and so I ping this to uh, Dagu or Ari. And me and Ari are having this discussion, it's quite a long discussion, about should we go in there, should we not go in there, are they still in there, is there a mushroom, let's go in, shall we? And you can see we've actually been talking about this for a little while. And finally he's like, okay, just go in. And I go in. No one's there. Some degree of berserker boldness was required there. But again, this is kind of me being afraid of Ari. Oh, not Ari, Evelyn. Who could be afraid of Ari? Her tail is so luxurious. But, should I have been afraid of Evelyn with Ari behind me? No. She's just a pussycat. And by that, I mean she's adorable. Because the purple skin, blue skin is just... Blue skin is in this year, guys. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So the whole team's together, we're looking for a team fight. But their entire team has run south to bot lane. So we go to push mid. 
And now they have to come all the way from there to reach us. And here they come. But in that time, the lane has been pushed. And Jax has to go in. Dagoo goes in, but Ari's rush is amazing. Like, Ari's rush just gets her out of trouble. And the fight just happens. Like, I try to stay in the fight. I just try to be sort of a tank, despite the fact that I don't really have any tanking abilities. I'm just, just trying to soak up damage, really. And apparently I'm ignited. Am I ignited? No, I was ignited. And Vayne does a good job. So, only Evelyn is alive. Now, see, this is what I was saying about before. If only Evelyn is alive... If, if Evelyn dies first, the team fails. If Evelyn doesn't make the fight because she's split pushing, they've got nothing left. That's their entire fight. All their fight is based on Evelyn. And as soon as that's not there, they crumple. So that's kind of a disadvantage of having only one person that's fed. You kind of want to spread out those kills a little bit, or don't get those kills all on your own. Because a lot of those kills on Evelyn would have been, you know, on her own. Because she's an amazing assassin. But that's a weakness of assassins, that they only get the kills themselves. They don't help anyone else. So yeah, they're able to kill anyone they want. They don't have a problem with that. But yeah. Now, one thing I did want to bring up is, at mid-game, I was sort of speaking about how me and Jax were kind of different in gold. And, you know, let's say 30 minutes. So this is before all the towers started going down. There wasn't a huge tower difference. Oh, yes, there was. Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, see, me and Jax were never that far apart from each other. Well, he never sort of got past me. So even at the 10 minute mark, you know, he's we're very close, and I've already got one death. And then his towers start going down, no problem. So just because you die more than your opponent doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're going to be in trouble gold-wise. So anyway, guys, this has been League Inspections for this week. Next week, we are going to have a look at Tarek, the Gem Knight. So look forward to that. And until then, inspect your replays, figure out what went wrong, improve on next time, and I'll see you later.